Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going to Q3 of the bi weekly contest one day. Minimum substring partition of Gco character frequency. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. This one is definitely a little bit tricky. There are two big major parts about this, and one of them is probably, or one part is probably the trickier part. I'm going to go over the easy part first, and it's going to be a little bit fast on the explanation, to be honest, because this part is going to be... The easy part, the easier part, it's not the easy part, is something that I would expect everyone to be able to do for an interview or close to it in a dynamic programming part. Um, and I'll show this really quickly. But yeah, it's basically, and we, we'll ignore this for now, and it's not easy to write, but basically this is the longest path in a DAG problem, right? Or shortest path in a, is this long? Uh, shortest path in a DAG problem, right? Where you can think about, uh, you can think about every string, right? And basically, you can think about nodes as the spaces in between each character, and then and there's there are edges between um, between spaces if the characters in between are balanced, right? Which is defined in this problem as having the same number of times. So of course. Uh, this is shortest path in a DAG, and in dynamic programming, this is a very O of n square um, kind of code. It is very straightforward in the sense that um, it is it is very straightforward in the sense that if you are preparing for an interview or a higher level competitive programming, you have to know this like pretty much in the bottom of your heart, right? Like it's just very uh, basic. Not to say that this isn't easy, uh, uh, this is difficult, but it is something that is expected, whether it's difficult or not, that's up to you. The hard part is that, okay, so let's say, we, you know, there are only n square possible things, and n is a thousand, so the, the dynamic programming part, which I have here, um, let's just say we have index of the next thing, and, you know, this is dynamic programming, pretty straightforward, not going to go over it that deeply, assuming that we're able to get the next index that are uh, possible, right? And here, well, the only n square or n choose two, even better, number of pairings to check. So how do we check it? The, the problem is that it's very easy to do n cube checks by accident. And in this particular case, you can do n cube plus, uh, times alpha, where alpha is the size of the alphabet, which is 26. And it still is too slow, at least in Python. Someone told me that in Java and maybe C++ is fast enough. But 26 million is definitely up there in being expensive and maybe time limit exceeded. You can maybe do a little bit of optimization to, to optimize this, but, but it's just like very sketch. So the, 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 um, so the, tri the, there is one idea and I thought about this during the contest. I did not, like I came from it from scratch. I didn't see it before, which is why my time is a little bit slower than some of the other. Actually, a lot of people kind of took the time. Oh, no, they took, I don't know. But yeah, it, it definitely like I, I did it by my um starting uh, on this problem. I mean, maybe I've done something before and remembered it, but definitely not explicitly, maybe somewhere deep inside. And the idea here is that, um, and there are two ways to do this, I think, at least two ways to do this. There's this max and min idea, uh, which is fine. Maybe. Hmm. But either way, so the way that I do thought about doing it is by saying that, okay, we keep track of the max scene, right? Let's just start from the beginning, right? So so now we, we see an F, we go, okay, there's one F, right? So that's obviously a good fa balance one. And then one A also a balance, one B, one C is also balanced, right? All these things are balanced. And then now you have two C as an update, or oh, that's no longer balanced. So the idea that I had was just thinking about it in terms of area in a rectangle. Well, so what is the, um, so we know the, the area of the rectangle, if you want to visualize it this way, the area of the rectangle is just the sum of all these things, right? Or Maybe, let me rephrase this. So then now you have a shape. You could even think about this as a histogram, right? If you have a histogram, then you have F, A, B, C, and then you have second C, you have this. And the idea behind having equal character frequency in terms of this, frequ uh, this histogram 
is that all the heights are the same, right? If all the heights are the same, then now you have a histogram that represents your balanced character frequency, right? So here, so what does that mean? So if all the histogram is the same, then the idea is that, well, it, it shapes like a rectangle, right? And with, if we have a rectangle, what does that mean, right? If we have a rectangle, that means that the width, the width is just the number of characters, and the height is the maximum level of characters, and we know the area, which is just the total number of characters we've seen, so then they all have to be equal to each other, and that's basically the geometric way that I thought about coming up with this problem, uh, this idea. For example, in here, you have five unique characters, the maximum character is two, so it needs 10 characters inside to be balanced. It is not, so it is not, right? But if we have F, A, and B, oops, F, A, and B, then now it looks like a rectangle, and now this is balanced because we have five unique characters, um, two as the height, and 10 as the area, right? So, yeah, and I just, like I said, um, I came up with this, it was not something that I actually remembered, so I don't, I, I want to put emphasis on it just because, um, you know, like I, I think too, too often on my stream or my comments or Discord, people just be like, oh, is this trick? And I'm like, I guess so, but I came up with this. I mean, obviously I didn't, I don't mean to say I came up with it like I invented it, but I came up with it from nothing, right? And of course, a lot of this is a practice and et cetera and seeing similar problems. But, you know, like maybe if you haven't done it before, you know, um, you could come up with it as well. Maybe it takes longer, maybe faster, I don't know. But my, my, my point is that it's not a trick in the sense that you have to memorize all these tricks, right? I just want to put that as a focus. You do not have to memorize all these tricks because you can come up with these things as long as you kind of have different ideas about thinking about it. And if you watch the live portion of this where I saw the live, I actually misread this one. I thought, for example, for some reason, I thought balance means um, uh, uh, semi-paradromic or whatever they used to call it. Basically, having an even number of every character. So I, if you watch me try to do it live, I actually did this incorrectly because I just... Didn't. But then, like, as soon as I realized, I'm like, huh, how did I do this? And then I came up with this idea. So that's what I have for this one. Uh, this is the DP. Uh, actually, actually, I guess here. Now you can see the entire code. This is N square. I'm not going to go over the DP um, situation. Um, this is N square. Uh, F is, F is uh, O of 26. But here, Keeping in mind that we have O of 1, right? Everything here is O of 1, so that's what makes the magic work. So this is a tight end square. One way, one way that people have talked about doing that I saw is that, um, you know, you do an O, you know, I mean, this part is easy and this part is easy. But if you do a for loop through F, this is going to add a factor of 26. This is going to be O of alpha times N times N. Well, alpha of, or O of alpha times N square, which is too slow uh, or often anyway I mean maybe Java works I don't know you, ha you have to ask you have to check it out but that's all I have for this one let me know what you think thanks for watching uh, yeah and you can watch me solve it live including the incorrect part now almost made a mistake all right Not awake enough. <laughs> Why did they put it in a note? They should just define it in the beginning. Minimum number that you could petition to. And there's only a thousand. Okay.
Oh, I misread this one. Oh, no. I mean, the idea is going to be the same, but I misread this one. That's not so bad. Okay. Well, I can finish writing this part first. I mean, this is going to be wrong. Okay, just want to see if it compiles. Okay, how did I just... Is that not right? Oh, this is N. <sighs> Am I right? Nah, I don't even know. So not confident today. Just woke up. See what was going to be. Oh, it looks okay though. So that's uh, that's YOLO submit. Hopefully, no wrong answer. No, did I have to mod anything? No. no time limit, please. You just have to check for that one. Right. Wow, no one got this one yet. So I'm a little bit behind, but. Thanks for watching everybody. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this contest, this problem, and everything in between. Stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.